There you go, guys. First game of the day. Miguel vs. Fat Dragon. Kino Desert 3 and Group C in common. This one can be absolutely insane. And th there you go. What? A panda boom? It's happening there? Oh, well. Okay. We got a panda boom there without even starting. Well, why that panda boom happened? Well, you didn't see. But, guys, Miguel as a blue fat dragon as a red which is not gonna happen it's like this blue for fat dragon i need to put the overlay overlay and there you go the overlay is there fat dragon as a blue with ink as miguel as a Kelt. red in the south starting with the infantry civilizations i would take the map i will leave the point of view from miguel because i want to put the civilizations here now you're gonna notice that there's a lot of work behind the scenes, right? Because I need to select myself Incas and Kells. Then I remove the sound, put the civilization. And yeah, there you go. Civilization display. And I show you the overlays. In the overlay, you can see the most important for both civilizations. But this is wrong because it was Incas and Kells. Now it's like this. Perfect. Incas and Kells. Well, I don't know the favorite for you. I think the Kells is super strong in this situation. I really think that the Kells is a super, super strong civilization. Remember that the, the militias are, are faster. We all know now the Kells, like, they became super popular because of Hoan, right? And, uh, well, uh, let's see. But the Incas in, uh, in Fat Dragon hands, it's absolutely sick. Can be really, really sick. There has a lot of possibilities. Can go for towers. Don't think so he will do because uh, being countering by the Kelsies, it can be very dangerous but you can see all the overview all the overview there in uh, this beautiful overlays when we remove the overlays well we can see how miguel has one goal at the back while on the left in top of that hill that woodland at the back is very nice Berries is at the back so it's oh but the lame is gonna happen yes it seems that fat dragon is trying to go lame he can see the tone center but we always talk about it the lack the lack is important and both Rhinos were in the other in the other side, you see? So he's not finding it. He's gonna find the ostrich, unfortunate. Then Red is going also to explore Miguel base. Uh, Vivi's base, okay. Let's see. The map for Vivi. Mm. Well, he will need some walls here. Why? Because he's, if not, he's quite open. Look at all the goal. That's terrible. That's really terrible. Let's get closer. Remember, oh, one, one gold less. Remember, guys, that I always put the overview with the, with the 4K when it's starting because I want you to see uh, a quick look for how the maps are, are looking. Yeah, but then, then we get closer. Oh, he's laming? What the hell? How he lost that goat? Well, uh, starting sloppy. This is a starting sloppy by, by Miguel, absolutely. Okay. He's still... By Bibi, sorry. BB still didn't find those those rhinos. I don't know why he's not going. And uh, maybe now he can't see it. No, man. Why well, you are not exploring farther? The police is going. No, man. Damn. Well, he, he, he lost already 200 foot. No, no, no. Now he got it. Now he got it. Okay. He's going to lame. 400 foot. And then my question is, he's not going? Why you are with the eagle there, man? BB? Are you for real? Well, what is this? What, what is this? I don't understand this. I never understand. Maybe he's gonna try to deny that that luring. I, I I don't get it. I really don't get it. Anyway, he's going forward now with the militias. While at home, he got nothing at all. He's walling for now. He's doing the barrack. He's gonna play standard. I've, I've been expecting this. And he's still there with the eagle. Yeah, no, okay, okay, super slow, super slow and sloppy in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> what is this, man? I mean, he stayed there for 20,000 minutes, you know, and uh, and look what he did, pretty much nothing. Anyway, yeah, useless, useless. Focusing on the other side, I like these walls, I mean, when you are that open, those greedy walls we saw the other day, are not worth it at all so it's better to walk closer to to your resources close to the tc and now yeah it's, it should be safe i'm gonna go for fat dragon point of view still not going up I'm gonna take the ostrich 
And now he has three militias, but he missed it, man. I don't feel like, like Fire Dragon BBEs. It's really on point yet. Well, remember that some players, the first game, they have some problems, like a warm-up. And uh, nothing at all yet. Nothing at all. No action yet. Well, they are trying, but nothing happens. 8 minute 20, 29 seconds up. He's up with 22 villages. That will be 23. Man, that's nice. He did the malicious and he's going up super quick. Damn. Well, this can be very nice to get the map control. Also, with uh, with the militia from red, uh, potential men at arms is, is going to be so dangerous. Okay, we see that he has only 10, go on go 10 goal already, but he's adding three villages. That goal is very exposed. No, they'll lose the scout. Let's get closer. Let's get closer here, man. I'm getting old, man. I need the glasses very soon. Okay, he's going around with the three militias. Has to be careful. The Ostris is still there. He will probably need to wall. He knows that he's coming, so let's see the quick walls if it's going to happen. One Palisade gate can be sick. Yeah, one, two, three, four tiles. Hopefully you don't mind this, this grid. I think the grid is not super fancy, but I think it's good to check the holes, to check some spot. Feedback is, is welcome. Okay, has to be careful. Now he's doing small Palisade. Yeah, okay, the Feudal Age will be there. Feudal Age is going to be there. And... Oh, wait now. Wait now, don't take the battle. I mean, he's getting a small advantage still. Well, now he can take it. Now he can take it. What is Bibi doing? He's letting him get the, the men at arms. Now the scout is going bye-bye. Of course, he's still getting... Oh, man, those, those are full HP militias. And baby, man, those are Ferraris militias. Look, look, look how fast they are. Look how fast they are. The Kelts. Come on, man. Yeah, man. They, 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 just, they just get it because he wasn't... Look, 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 look. I mean, it's, it's so cool to see how they just kill it, man. So fast, those militias. Kelt militias are just amazing. Fog of War. Remove the Fog of War. Now, good amount of farms. It's Stone Walls. A stone walls. I mean, solid. Really solid. In another level walls. VV, palisade walls on the right side. Palisade on the left, on the right, and now also in the north. What the hell? Stone walls by, by Miguel. What the? Well, I, I will put the glasses it, just to see if Isam is click. Whoa, I see the stone even closer now. I can't believe what I'm watching, man. Stone walls, man. Really stone walls. Yeah, okay, gold, stone. Pretty open map. But if you want to make an open map, a closed map, that's the way to go. Yeah, man. Okay, the eagle is, is exploring now around. Going to the right side. Double RT range. Triple is on goal. And we will see now. I mean, it's not stars and archers. I believe. I believe that Fat Dragon... Didn't see it yet. Oh, man. Now he see the stone. Now he see the stone walls. Please, attack, baby. Because this is stone walls is going to be used a castle age game. Man. Well, uh, we only can notice how important are the games. The players, no shame, are doing stone wall. And he's doing zero army. I put the 4K resolution. I know it's too far. Don't worry. I will zoom in. I'm doing on purpose because you can see only in this screen how he's completely stonewall. He got one stone inside. That might be a little bit exposed, but the goal is safe. The wood is safe. Then he's gonna walk completely on the, on the left. That's incredible. That's really incredible. Stonewall, man. Well, remember the legendary team when he was going with the stone walls as well? And check Miguel's economy. Miguel's economy is really on point. Because he's not doing any army. He has the market. He's just doing a stone wall. Did the farmers. And uh, and that's it. 500 food already. Well, Bibi. Bibi now. What is he doing? Few archers. Might try to find some hole. Which is not going to happen. Still didn't wall. Three villages to wall. Obviously. And now. Vivi is going to make now a tower. Well, remember that the walls are only 900 HP. It's not, it's not impossible to break. We have seen we have seen people breaking this. But most of the players in this situation will try to adapt. Maybe uh, balance the economy and go for castles. But Bibi, 
Vivi, Fat Dragon, is a crazy player. He's sending you five villies forward. Five villies forward, he'll put the archer and now he will try to break in. But man, 19 minute castle for Miguel. We might dislike this strategy, we might not agree with the stone walls, but this is a competition. $50,000 tournament, playing this series for over 600 extra to their pocket. Solid and legit strategy with the stone walls is completely safe. Now he's doing the tower. It's also true that I don't like that he has an RG range. Stable will be better. Probably we will see a, uh, a stable soon. But now, yeah, no resources at all for for the Kells guy, Miguel. Yeah, this is arena, Pete. This is completely arena. Yeah, we forget sometimes that this is a $50,000 tournament. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Anyway, he's breaking the walls. And the good thing is, I think... He's gonna break it, the walls. Yeah, man, th those are weak. Look how the HP is dropping dramatically fast. Now he has the fletching. Man, the greedy walls is not gonna work. He's not doing the tower. Now he's gonna be inside. And being inside, I know that he's gonna be in castle. Huh? No blasphemy yet. Yeah, man, this is so risky against a player like, like Vivi, like Fire Dragon. Let's get closer and see if he can make some damage. He's trying to go to the north, but at least he's just gaining time. Now another tower. I think it would be better to make a little bit closer to deny it more... Well, I think with that tower we'll deny the farmers anyway. And this is a palisade gate. He can definitely break that extremely quick. Oh man, these walls are maybe not gonna work for Fatra for Miguel and it's not working. He got nothing. One valley is going to go down. One down, two down. Man, Bibi's doing the job. Three down. Remember that Bibi got in KOTD2. The semi-finals, semi-finals, and look now, Vivi Economy, he's on the way to castle it, and what is more important, he's on the way to destroy it, because now, he's getting here, close to the TC, the TC is not up yet, he's gonna take more valleys, man, we were thinking that Miguel was in a perfect situation, Miguel is 11 valleys behind, and now, Blue is inside. If he just gets inside with the crossbows and I don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah, man. He has to be careful. I know the tower. Siege wars up. But he's not expecting that Vivi manage the economy like he's doing. He did the market. Solid amount of farms. A lot of stone. A lot of villains on goal. And Vivi is playing so damn aggressive. Let's go to his point of view. Fog of war. Ooh, but this is so risky. In between do both those centers. Are you for real? What are you doing, man? Don't send the arches in between the, t the two TCs. I mean... This is a, a kamikaze strategy. He's going now to the left. And gonna put that tower here. Well, he's still getting more and more resources under control. Yeah, he went back. Yeah, Nikov. Look at the, what Bibi was doing. Goal is exposed. But the mangonel is coming. Let's see if Bibi gonna notice that the mangonel is gonna make the bada boom. Oof. One billion down. And now two more villains. No! Yes, one billion down more. Oh my god. Okay, guys, he lost three villages. Good, good aggression here for Miguel. After all this aggression, three TCs, 38 villages, Fat Dragon 40, but now he's in Castellage. What he should do here? Oh, the archers are going down. The archers are going down. Now he's doing Eagle Warriors. That he has how many barracks? Two barracks at home. Here, probably he's gonna make the siege war up at the back. Yes, he's doing outside because he got that tone center and. Uh, let me check here. Yeah, but he need to do it. And the mangonel is coming. But the eagle is gonna defend. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be in time. I think he should split those villages. Please don't put the villages in. Oh, but Miguel is not sending the mangonel. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Now he noticed squares. Scale mail armor. The siege is so important. I mean, if he has three tone centers, I prefer the situation. For Vivi, because he's just started. Oh my god, the two villains are down. Okay, he lost five. Fat Dragon lost 20 units. Look at the rate you kill that. Look at the rate you kill that. But he can raid. He can raid, and now with those seals, he can take the mangonel. And he got zero resources to repair, it seems, because he couldn't repair that mangonel. And the eagles raiding all the time. I don't know if you agree, but I prefer Fat Dragon position because of the raiding. And because Miguel only got. One Bangorol to defend. Pretty much nothing. More Eagles going around. And at home, what he has? Zoom out. Doing an extra tone center. And guys, look at the stone. Look at the stone. He took the Bangorol now. We missed that shot. But you can see that the Bangorol is gone. 
He got a stone to make a castle forward. Is Bibi gonna come and make a castle on his face? On his real face? I don't know, maybe here? Taking all the farmers and the TC? This would be an epic one. But danger to be doubt. Danger to be doubt. Okay. He's spamming a little bit more eagles. He still doesn't have a lot of farming, but now two tone centers. Those is are plus one, plus one. Remember that all the abris are on top left or right from the players. That PKZ overlay is just on point. Amazing. And let's put Fog of War from Miguel. He can see the bang or not. Remember that Kells do doesn't have redemption in, if you are thinking about the monks. But Inca's got. Be careful and don't waste some units. Let's get closer. Mangonel, let's now go to blue. And man, what I was telling you, Mem Stradamus is on point because now he's doing a monastery and the castle exactly in the spot I was suggesting. Exactly in that spot. Awesome. But guys, he has to be careful. Two Mangonels are coming. It's only five villages. He really needs to be careful. There is not a lot of eagles. The two Mangonels can dominate here if he's just going fast because remember that the siege from the Celts is... He's just faster, but he's not doing. Oh my god, he lost the Mangola super quick. Now the Mangola is gonna dominate. Now the Mangola will, will kill the villains. He has to be careful. I think he's in the range still. He's still in the range. Those things are just... Uh, he's losing everything. Oh my god, he needs to go back. I can't believe what he, what we are watching. There's no goal. He has no resources to make another Mangola. Now he's doing and Doubt Castle is happening. Damn, first game. Thanks to Vivi's aggression. But guys, look... Vili is numbers. This VB is raiding all the time. He's going super aggro. And he's already seven Vili's ahead. Because Miguel is full idle time. Full idle time. In Vili's number, they kill each other five. The same. But look at the Eagles now. If he's taking the Mangos and do the castle, I think he will. I mean, suddenly he, he will... Uh, he will do it. Sooner or later, yes. More Vili's are down. And VB has this game completely under control. I don't know what do you think, guys, but I feel that this was too greedy. Too greedy from uh, from Miguel. This is Stone Walls against a player like Baby, man. He's not moving all. All the villages. He's still only seven villages behind, but map control. Well, now nine villages ahead. Being against Incas with the Eagles. This is looking so bad for the Brazilian player. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, very nice. I don't know if he was patient. Because he went all in, but he was patient building the castle, I agree. And now he's moving. Uh, let, let's see the the overview here. Ooh, man, he's using villiers. Disaster for Miguel. This is the first game for Vivi. And, uh, well, what Miguel did here? Miguel tried to boom, and he failed. Because Vivi, a crazy aggressive player, put everything there. Look at those eagles. Send it little by little. He got a knight. Well, with the villains, he seems to be holding. Now with the mangle, he's gonna take the tower. He still have a stone here. Oh god, this Lambrican. Don't like that Lambrican. Definitely not. The mangle seems to be bye-bye. No, he saved it. Okay. But taking the TC, doing another. This is completely game over. Completely game over. I can even drink a little bit of water. Guys, because this is impossible that he can lose now with 21 billion more. And if we check at home, yeah, he is, has three TCs, smooth farming, all good for Bibi. And playing great. I mean, most of the players, well, most of the players, many players, when you see the Stone Wolves, they really don't know what to do. And and he was great, man. Great aggression by, by Fire Dragon. Yeah, crazy stuff. Well, two Mangolas. The tower is down. Let's see the Mangolas shot. Ooh, that was a beautiful shot. Controlling it super fine. But still. I mean, I mean, if he's controlling properly... Oh, look at Vivi, man. Vivi is just... Fat Dragon is just corner. Corner his opponent. That castle behind the forest. Yeah, man. Awesome play by, by the Chinese. Remember, guys, that we are streaming almost... Yeah, almost every day the Chinese in the first game because... Uh, well... Big recognition, big, big well to, to China community. We want that they can see these games since it's quite late in in their country. And at least they can see the Chinese games in a good time. And well, they might be enjoying with the first one because this is almost impossible that Bibi can throw this game. Nah. 
Just look at the numbers. The numbers is just insane. A lot of map control. I believe that... That Miguel cannot even see this. Oh, he can. So, well... This core is not so diff is not so big difference. I believe for, for that reason he's not resigning, right? Yeah. Well, that the stone when he's doing botkin probably is even denied. Eh, a little bit far. Yeah, BB, BB's playing amazing. He never got a lot of army, but he has been raiding constantly. Do you notice? Eight army, six yeah, six, eight army, not expending a lot. Four tone centers. Raiding completely, and the GG has been called. Well, I mean, this first game is, it's kind of, well, disappointed for me, because I think the Kells got something to say in this matchup, but this is Stone Walls, maybe he didn't feel like playing in this uh, crazy aggressive battle, it was a thing with... Uh, with Vivi, but uh, Vivi did the job, man, and uh, he played uh, super aggro, and you can see, he, he took the game. It looks easily, right, that he took the game. Well, that, that was very solid play by, by Fat Dragon. Honestly, Fat Dragon in other tournaments maybe doesn't, doesn't um, shine, but he's a Arabia player. If you don't want to face uh, Fat Dragon in a map, he's in Arabia, of course. Uh, He's uh, maybe not that consistent, but he's so dangerous. Economy, you can see that economy and technology. At the end, Fat Dragon, with all the aggression, he reached 22 minutes, which is fine. It's okay. Miguel, 19, but he couldn't do really anything. Well, this is 1-0, 1-0 for Fat Dragon. There you go, guys. Game number two from this crazy series because with this players well anything can happen and we're getting there we are getting there fat dragon is as a mayans blue miguel lithuanians red we have seen how lithuanians is being picked pretty much by everyone miguel should shine with this civilization so i really want to see this one let me show you the the overview i leave a point of view from miguel it's gonna be quick and i'm gonna pick Mm -hmm. Mayans we say it for Vivi and Lithuanians, and then I will show you the overlays right now. There you go. Well, uh, Mayans is an archer civilization, like we all know. It starts with one villager uh, more, but minus 50 food resources last longer 15%. Archers cost minus 10 in feudal, 20 in castle, 13 in imperial, unique unit plume arches, and uh, the unique text obsidian arrows that they destroy the buildings and everything. Then Lithuanians, cavalry and monk civilization start with 150 foot. The spearman line, skimmers and move 10% faster. And uh, well, everything else you can see there in the overview. I love those 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 overviews. We can say thank you to, to Isa3, another incredible viewer in this channel. And uh, well, we can check all the civilizations when we start the game because there's many people that is maybe new and well, that, that really helps. Berries are at the back for blue. Fat Dragon, Mayans, um, I prefer Lithuanians, who would say that, right? But uh, it's true that Mayans is very dangerous, okay? Very, very dangerous. What? Not die? Not die? Idle? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, Thievelis on wood, English from Fat Dragon, we all know that is insane, you know? Has to be careful, was trying to push. And uh, Blue, Fog of War? He's gonna try to lame. Okay. Let's see. I mean, the map. I want to check the map, but he's there with the eagle. So I will check red map. Red map got one, two goal incredibly exposed. Yeah, very, very exposed. It is on wood, but it's hard to protect. Really hard to protect. He got four villages on wood. Berries on the right side. Wood at the back. Okay. Well, it's an open map. And look at the other goal, how far it is. Damn really really far on the other side we can see wood at the back berries at the back i like it the goal at the back i like too what's happened okay he's doing the barrack already let's check first the map and the stone and gold for well very exposed but focus first in this strategy remember that with lithuanians we usually see this we even see that the too many three barrack but now fat dragon is gonna take it i mean again he's doing the same he's going with the eagle but then he's not taking anything well, he took two goats, okay. That's something. 
don't want to lose the scout. Maybe it's a mind game. He's trying to to make Miguel think that uh, he's gonna go crazy aggressive or, or laming, but then he's just uh, exploring, yeah, gathering information. He can see the barrack. And what is he gonna do now, Fat Dragon at home? He's gonna react. He's doing a house. Probably he's gonna policy till this area. And this is all fully open. Yeah. Obviously, two militias are going to happen, or three already. Two militias. He did the loom and he can make another one. Okay, let's zoom in. He's still not taking the the elephant. Why not? Is he scared about the eagle? What is Miguel doing? Take the elephant, man. He's gonna go now. Well, he has the loom, so it shouldn't be a problem. I don't understand what, uh, what Vivi is doing here with the eagle. Seriously. But still, on the right side, he's going with the, with the scout. He didn't wall anything, and now he's doing the barrack. He's going to make small walls. I like this approach, really. I, I like this approach that he's not going for. For example, this huge wall between both uh, forests. He's just walling his, his base, like you can see. And this is very efficient, you know? At least that the other is coming with towers, but if not, this is very efficient against the, the militias, and I really like it. Okay. I'm going to his point of view. And... Uh, let's see, he's doing the militias now. Okay, has still one billion more, which is normal with the Mayans. You start with one more, so you need to keep it. That means that his Dark Age is smooth. Palisading, and he's going around with the three militias. Scout. There's some hills that are dangerous here, but... Oh! Trying to get the servers, but he's there, man. He's there with the militias. Now he'll have to be careful. Fat Dragon might lose it. If he's blocking properly, he might lose it. Yeah. And uh, and this is exactly what is happening. That villager is going to be... Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! How, how lucky, Vivi! 1 HP... He saved it in the last second. Damn! Well, that is skill, that's luck. I don't know, but that's really, really luck. Right, guys? I mean, you don't tell me that this is on purpose. This is lucky, man. Absolutely luck. Yeah, man. He saved the villager. But, you know, this is... It's like, like well, you got those days that anything you do, it's, it's working. But, guys, I love the Lithuanians. He has the three militias, he did faster, and then he's even able to go up. He's up already. And gonna go many times. But the militias are now coming to the berries. And Miguel, zero walls. So, it's gonna Miguel now do the same. He's gonna be able to save those villagers. This spot is very small. I'm going to zoom in. And now he noticed instantly, moving away. This is very quick reaction. I love it. But now, he got the heal advantage. That's why he's fighting. Heal advantage, so... You can deal properly. Not anymore. Just go now or you will lose. Yes. It's a good micro, but now it's four units. I think he will save it. Not gonna lose anything, but he's denying the berries. That's okay. Okay. Now we can see how he's going around. Let's put the fog of war. He knows where the woodland is, but on the right side, he can't do any damage. Miguel, why well, he's not wanting anything? That, I mean... I don't understand. Uh, why he knows that he's there? Why he's not wanting anything at all like i don't get it now he's walling that but why he didn't make some more walls here okay well one bullet down and now are you kidding me man are you kidding me are you really kidding me man okay i have to play this i'm sorry but i have to play I mean, like wallet, man. Like wallet is true that he didn't lose. He didn't lose any villager, but idle time. A lot of idle time. And if you check the village numbers, already six villages difference. Six villages difference and, but Miguel, I like this. Miguel is going incredibly forward, super aggressive. RT range in front with four villages. Look at that RT range. Fat Dragon can see it. He cannot even see it. Wow. He's going super aggressive. Completely different approach with the previous game, which is lovely. Yeah. But he's still five is behind, so he got some idle time. And he's still at home fighting. He's gonna lose a villier. Need to micro. Need to micro with two villiers. Micro. Micro. Got it. He saved it. And now this is very interesting. Yeah, but Bibi is doing a counter tower. Wow. Okay. This is the game we love. 
Blast with an archery range. Yes, double beat axe. He's gonna be able to make fletching. He's not going for castle. He's gonna make army. He's not well completed that goal. But the army is already there. And now it's completely different than the previous game. Much more aggressive. What? Bibi's not doing the tower. Bibi cannot see that. Bibi cannot see. This is awesome. This is really, really amazing. With the tone he's gonna see it. Oh, but he's doing the tower. Now he did. Okay. He's doing the tower. He's gonna be able to counter it. Well, both towers are going to be up. Fletching is really, really important. But really aggressive gameplay. Man attempts on the left. Village number though. Is three villages different? Well, it's not huge. Well, it's four now. He lost one. Also, you get one villain more with the Mayans. Ay, ay, ay. And he's gonna take this tower. Uh, for now, I see that... There's one villain on a stone from Miguel. He's trying to mine stone. Uh, let me check. Or, or, or I'm dreaming. I don't know, man. I see one villain on a stone for red. Oh, he's here. What the hell? Made the money camp forward. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. But now... Ooh. He got it there. Now he got the arches and a lot of men at arms. He took one villain. The aggression now is real. Look at Miguel. This is what we want to see. Look at how much different he's playing now. And Miguel now, yeah, a novel is down. Look at the rate you kill that. Novel is different anymore. 6 1 and Fat Dragon got two army. Nothing to counter this. He's doing some arches, but man, sending a villain forward. And he seems to be a little bit on panic now. Damn, Miguel playing now on point. Yes. The palisade is open where? Where the palisade is open? I don't know where the palisade is open. I mean, there's a tower. Everything is open. Stone. He has no goal. Bibi's goal. Well, this is his goal. But he has no stone to make another tower. And this is a lot of army. 11. 4 army. If Miguel keep putting the pressure. Man. That's solid. How many RT ranges? Only one. Okay. Gonna take the barrack. No, look at the tower he wants to do. That tower is amazing. That tower is amazing, but where's the villagers? Okay, there, the, there we are. Man, that tower is good. He's denying the uh, denying two farmers. He's going to deny the berries. If he got fletching, and he really got fletching. And no stone yet for Vivi. So, man, he's getting map control. Problem is that this is awesome as well. This is awesome. Man, the counter-attack. Fat Dragon got almost no army. A lot of experience. And now he's going to go. I was wondering what is happening at home. Yeah, well, at home, there's no protection. And now those archers with fletching are going to dominate, man. Archers going to dominate. Four archers are just there. And one villain will go down. One villain is going down. What the hell? Awesome play by Vivi here. Really, really great. Because now... Out of goal, Miguel. And on the right side, is he doing some damage? Well, he did damage here. No berries. Oh, no, the farmers bye-bye. But here, with the archers, keep going around. Well, the woodland is still... Is, everything is exposed. Just look how much damage is he doing with four archers. Because he got nothing at home. Yeah, it's fantastic. It, it's really good move here by, by, by Fire Dragon. Can be a decided game, really. I mean, if the game is close still. But now, the numbers are getting a little bit closer. And... Uh, well, skirmishers, he need to pilot, he's doing another tower, he has a lot of elites on stone, maybe even too much, five on stone, but this was great, it was really good, four villains ahead, um, Miguel doesn't have double attacks, well, no horse collar, now doing the Will Barrow, still missing some average, both players, they're going all in now, all in, full feudal aggression, this is the way to go, this is really the way to go, yeah, he need to move that. Man, look at the two larva camps he did. The same spot. Look how thin is this wood line. <laughs> Not the best. If he's sending arches there, he's gonna be in big problems again. Yeah, and now, even if the score say that Miguel is ahead, I don't know anymore. Because <laughs> playing against Mayans, Meso City is complicated. It's also true that Miguel can make transition to knights. And uh, if he's gathering some relics, can be sick. For now, he's walling. And stabilizing his economy. Both are going to go castle soon. That's crazy. I mean, they manage the economy so, so great. Because there's a lot of faction. And look how their resources are looking. He's doing another tower. A fantastic tower. Because he's coming with more army. But Vivi is about to go up. Yes. He's gathering the resources. And he's clicking up in a minute. Well, in 10 seconds. There you go, man. There you go. Wow.
Excellent play by, by the chain. He's player, man. In my opinion, I don't know what you think. He's, he's playing great. He's really playing good. Miguel is doing a great game too, but uh, this is so solid performed by Vivi. Seriously. Okay. On the left, he's dealing now with the arches. Look how he's out microing Miguel completely here. There you go. Well, low HP, but they will still, yeah, doing the job. He's not up yet. One Vili or goal. No goal to go up. Man, Vivi is it's getting the game, man. I don't know how he's going to defend now. Now, nah, those arches are really low HP. Should, should be fine. But he's gonna kill a Vili? No, he didn't. Okay, he's fine now. And he's still... Now, getting the goal. Well, mining camps and the devil is back. This time is, is big difference. The timing is so big difference. He's gonna go Eagles. Imagine now. And he's not up yet. He's not up yet, Miguel. I'm zooming out to show you his base. He's not protected on goal. Fully open on the right side. He got one tower that is defending more or less the wood line. But this area is also exposed. Well, now BB doing the barracks doing the barracks he's on the way to castle but you can see over two minutes miguel four villains more but no will borrow no will borrow and no double b tags for you guys who got the advantage i think definitely vivi if he's going now aggressive with the eagles big problems big big problems you can see the castle age now miguel on the way doing the gold mine and upgrade he really has to be careful his table is happening and he has almost a stone to make already a castle. Damn. But Bibi, I'm 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 confused. He's doing crossbow and botkin, but he did another barrack. I don't know. Oh, he is the first barrack actually because he lost the first the the one the first that he did. So now it makes sense. Then then he can be okay because he got the skirmishers, bloodless and skill bard in armor. Okay. Gonna be difficult to make then the, the castle drop. Because he still have army, Miguel. Still two villains more. He's walling, that's nice. Man, the game is getting so damn interesting. Blind lines, scale bar in armor. Double stable is needed, I think. I'm checking the resources. Well, the resources are not great. But that tower is fantastic. Make a palisade. Need to palisade a little bit. But now he's gonna take some villains. Oh my god. He's coming with the army. Yeah, but but why not not any walls? Do you understand these guys? I mean, in the previous game, stone walls, and now zero walls in this area when his opponent is in castleage. For me, it really makes no sense. Now it's four villages ahead. The score is still close, but let's see what he's gonna be able to do. And if he's microing properly, it's gonna be even bigger difference here. No, 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 he's not fine. Yeah, he got the army. Oh, good. Second stable forging, and what is Vivi doing at home? A beautiful castle. To defend the goal, defend all this area, and then we'll go through March. He's got two tone centers. And let's see what, what Miguel can do now. But he, in my opinion, need to go quite aggressive. Otherwise, he will fall behind in economy big time. He's seven villages already. And uh, well, and it will go more because he's with two tone centers. Damn. Okay. Eagle is coming. Two villages on stone. Yeah, those eagles will do nothing. What? Okay. Those eagles will do nothing. Villier down. On point, man. Thank you. Two, three knights. Men at arms. <laughs> the hell, man. Okay. Three men at arms. Four knights. He's going there. Okay. Extra tone center. A lot of villiers on stone. Yeah, it's only one TC. That's the biggest problem. I mean, his now he's doing the second. I mean, his army might be okay. His bloodlines plus one plus one. Let's see if he can raid. There's a hole. No, I think he's wall completely. There's not a single hole. The knights are going, but uh, I don't think there is a hole. Sometimes definitive edition surprise us with some unexpected gap. Oh my god, this is going too direct. Well, the gaps, man, the gaps. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, definitive edition surprised us with some unexpected, unexpected gap. And the knights are going. Okay. It's true that it's only four knights, which is not crazy. But, uh, man, what the hell? Where, where, where's the hole here? Are you kidding me, man? All right. Well, the good thing is that he's getting some idle time. But, guys, look at the villain the villi difference, man. Look at the villain difference. Pretty sick. 
they are complaining about lag, right? Like, uh, Miguel is feeling a lot of lag. I don't know if the lag is, can be... It can be... Um, feeling in the recorded games. I think it's all the kind of lag. If there were some server problems, I don't know. Anyway, he's taking both mugs. That's good. But the village difference, though, it's insane. Miguel, I don't know if he should go with Siege or something. Because the score is pretty much the same, but this is fake. Well, it's also true that Fat Dragon got a lot of Elise Idol. He's now converting. And those dice are going to be bye-bye. There you go. It's gone. Down. Okay. He's adding more knights. He's usually playing really good with uh, with uh, knight civilizations. The problem is the boom, man. The boom because with this economy difference and no double attacks, no will borrow. That's a huge problem, man. That, that's a really huge problem. Ay, ay, ay. Well, BB is, is booming solid. Really, really solid. Okay. I mean, I'm asking to you guys. Seems today I'm lonely. I will ask to the viewers and then I see what you think. What, what VB, I mean, what Miguel can do? He should go probably here, siege and push. Because if he keep now passive with this difference in, in, in economy, is it possible that he can catch up uh, minus boom? It, it's just impossible in my opinion. I don't know. Where's the knights? The knights were well, we're chasing these knights here. Husbandry will borrow now. Still not even the woodline the the first wood upgrade. That's terrible, man. Okay. He's not doing any damage. He's not attacking. Look at the villains, man. I mean, the village difference is just insane. He's doing all the siege wars up. Heavy blow. He got all the upgrades, Vivi, except the hand card. Yeah, this is ideal situation. He do doesn't have ballistic, but uh, ideal situation now with the pro marchers. Uh, the score difference is not so big, but 30 villains more. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. He got some knights. Those knights are plus one, plus one. No hand card for Vivi. Wow, man. And just big difference with the economy. It's it's so, so complicated now. I mean, this raid he did in the woodland here. Uh, killed some valleys, denied him. Pretty much. And uh, now he's 30 valleys behind. And in this situation, I mean, uh, yeah. It just didn't was happening between Winchester and Slam. When Slam was behind in Villiers, he needed and he went full 1 TC. Then with less Villiers, he still recovered. But like this, if you keep or playing standard, okay, that can be a good mango shot. No, he's killing himself almost. The Knights will kill it. Now he got some good army. Yes, but man, look at the economy. And Bibi will go up to Imp. He got Ballistic and he can even make a castle soon. I don't know, maybe here. Or, or a safe one, just in his base. Yeah, he's, he's so difficult. I know the tone center. Now I know the bar rack, chain bar in armor. Obviously, the economy difference is huge, and he's not gonna be anytime soon going going up. But, 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 but. those blue marches now with ballistic. Also, lame in that farm that it wasn't built yet. Hmm. Now nah, he's on the way to imp. For now, the first two games, uh, Vivi in another level. Vivi in another level. Mem so relaxed. I'm relaxed because, I mean, people say, hey, Mem, you are a hype caster. I am a hype caster. If the game is close, they, they, they are going to be big battles. But I have the feeling that that uh, that this is impossible game for Miguel. So I never overhype. I just go with the game. Otherwise, it will be fake. And I'm not fake. Two mangonels? Uh oh. Let's see this spot. That's not a great spot for the knights. Not a great spot for the knights. Come on, Miguel. Go away. I mean, this is useless. Well, he's holding this, and with the mangonel, he's gonna be able to kill, probably. Yeah, beautiful. There you go. He's gonna kill all the plumes. Yeah, man, the score is almost the same. But, um. Yeah, but the Imperial Age. Pillage is there. And whatever he's doing, the castle is exactly in the spot I suggest a few minutes ago.
Taking the gold, taking the hill. And now whatever he's doing is gonna put Miguel in big, big problems. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three barracks. Yeah, well, he's doing all the upgrades. Eagles or Halves is fine. He got huge advantage. Huge advantage. Maybe even Halves is better because now those knights are plus two, plus two. He got Fat Dragon. Oh, I noticed now. Fat Dragon, three relics. If you are Lithuanians. Yeah, well, he got one relic. So he will get uh, plus three there. He can get plus three now if he's doing uh, the last attack. But uh, how you hold now? Military numbers, Miguel got more. Fat Dragon is in Imp. And uh, if he's losing these knights, I wouldn't be surprised that he's calling it. It's true that his economy is okay, like 30 of 30 farms, a lot of gold. He can try to go up, but now the halberd pieces are going to be there. Conscription, and on the left, man, that's disrespectful. TC, TC close to his base. That his extra gold, and uh, Vivi's taking it. Yeah, playing is smooth, Vivi. Playing very smooth without. Oh. There you go. Two conversions more. Oh my. What? Two mangles down? How the hell that happened, man? Well, I mean, BB didn't make anything spectacular. Yeah, but why he delete, man? He delete for what? To take what? When you are. When there is so many arches, okay. But there was nothing to. There. Don't delete it, man. Okay. Yeah, he's on the way to Imp. I like it. Then Miguel keep trying. He's up to Imperial. Of course, the timing is so crucial here. And 20 villains behind. And I don't know now if all the cavalry will be good against the Halves. He still make skirmishes, I believe. But he's still going cavalry. I don't understand that. Because now Fat Dragon can spam Half forever. Pam, 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 pam. You see? I'm just clicking all the barracks. He can spam Halvardius forever. And then... Well... The knights can be plus five, yes, but plus five against halves. Uh, don't think it's gonna be enough. Uh, let's see the battle. It's now going. Couple of monks. He's converting. No, he's healing those. He's trying to heal those. And the game is over, man. For that, I was so relaxed. Because for me, the game was over a long time ago. 2 0, man. 2 0 and Fat Dragon. Being a candidate here to, to, to dominate in Kino Desert 3, well, he's playing good, man. He's playing good, Fat Dragon. Not giving any chance in, in the first two games. He plays solid, didn't make any crazy strategy, but no mistakes. You know, and this is what you want from, I don't know if you agree, from a pro player and someone that wants to, to show that they can win the tournament. No mistakes. Playing smooth. Yeah. And uh, he was a... Uh, Playing so clean, in my opinion, Fat Dragon, in these first two games. 37 Laris Army, 24 Economy. You can see the economy for Fat Dragon. Absolutely best. 5,000 more, more wood, 2,000 more food. Look at the stone. And 1,000 more gold. Fat Dragon is definitely on point. Okay, guys, we continue game number three Miguel versus Fat Dragon. And. Uh, King of the Desert with Miguel and Fat Dragon in this round of 32. Spanish and Khmer, guys. Spanish and Khmer. Whoa! I love it, man. I mean, in theory, Khmer should shine and dominate, but what is Fat Dragon going to do here with the Spanish? Let's go and check, first of all, the, the sifts. It's just Spanish and, and, and Khmer, but um, it's great because with, with these players, Anything can happen. And with this crazy VB, well, what he's gonna do with the Spanish? You can see there what the Spanish civilization can offer to, to, to the viewers if you wanna choose when you are playing. They are fantastic, you know? Uh, but in 1v1 Arabia, I don't know if that, they are that great. They don't have great bonus economy. Uh, well, Khmer, with the crazy farms they have, no buildings to go up. And, well, you, you know the civilization already. It's, uh, for me, it's favorite. But for Dragon, can put the pressure with towers, maybe? Faster building the Spanish villages and so on. Well, let's see. Let me clear up the overlays. There you go. And now, checking the map, we see that Fat Dragon has wood at the back. Another wood at the back, Berries on the right side, Gold in front. 
Stone in front, colonists, man, they might be so open. Look at both the stone, how far they are. They are in China and in Australia. Ah, so far, man. Really, really far. The map for, for Miguel that need to win or he's out of the tournament? Well, he can wall this area and then the goal might be okay. Still, this is exposed and if he's coming with BB here with a tower, destroy this and get the resources. Well, and the map control. A stone behind the forest very far. Another stone on the left. Berries at the back. And two goals at the back, that's okay. I mean, I prefer this map because eh, if he has to move, he can be a little bit safer, you know? But still, well, aggressive, aggressive, uh, aggressive map generations, right? Two villages on wood. Hopefully, guys, you, you are enjoying with uh, with the map. Remember that we have to, to make a big shout out here for Krasini, always doing, uh, for me, I'm obviously not objective, the best maps, you know, the best maps and by far in my opinion and this is a true arabia man a true arabia seriously anyway uh, let's see i'm bas i know i'm really bas but uh, well but we have to to remind it okay let's take it the elephant only two villages on wood it means that he's gonna go super quick up i believe so remember that the the bonus is when you are doing farmers Right now, Khmer doesn't have anything special, just that uh, you can garrison the devilies on the houses. But why? In every single game, Fat Dragon is exploring constantly his opponent. He's exploring constantly his opponent. Well, what I like from this Arabia, Mr. Chov, is that the, the aggression is being rewarded, you know? And. It's how it should be, in my opinion. If you are aggr aggressive, like you can get advantage, and it's it's looking like this. Of, of course, there is always exceptions, and sometimes it's not happening. But that happens always in life. Not everything is black or white. Okay, uh, let's see. House on the right side, and uh, be careful. He's going around with the scout. Let's go to his point of view now, Miguel. Yeah, he's exploring already, so he knows. Exactly where his opponent is. Is Miguel gonna be able to go up 19? I'm checking the resources. Let's see if he's gonna gather the the food. Yes! Look at that economy. Top right corner. Amazing. There you go. On the way to feudal age. 854. Damn. He's going up super quick. Well now, let's remove the fog of war. Ah, he can see the barrack. The barrack, the barrack. No. Unfortunate. Well. Do you expect to have the barrack, but uh, I wanted to see if he's gonna make a militia or something. But seems like not. Actually, seems like not. Okay. Thank you everyone for support. Happy Milo, thank you for the uh, for the support and everyone that is supporting the channel and of course the tournament, man. Because the support. Ooh. No, 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 no. Yeah, the support with the tournament we we use also to improve the tournament during the tournament and for future tournaments as well, guys. Yes, so imagine, man, it's gonna be sick. Hopefully, we can do again something something strong in 2021. Yeah, because this tournament is gonna finish in final at the end of October, so I think if we take some small break in in November, December, can be fine, right? But didn't say that. I was fo I was sure I was focused completely here on Fat Dragon because this crazy player is forward, man. He's completely forward now with five villages, scout, two militias, double it as a horse collar, but he can't see him coming. I'm gonna focus completely on Miguel because we want to see how he's going to react against the aggression. For now, he doesn't see yet the villages, but he's doing a stable, stable to hold here. Or he should attack directly on his base. Honestly, I will try to make a counter-attack. Anyway, now a house close to all the resources is ideal. He should have another. And the feudal age. More militias. This can be a disaster. Men at arms are happening. The tower is on his face. Now he's... That... Oh man. That tower. Oh. That tower against the Spanish villages, man. Against the Spanish villages, I don't know if he's gonna be able to do it. Well, it's so many villages. But still, as you can see, the tower is up much faster. And the men at arms are already there and gonna take this tower now. Oh my god. Damn. Well. 
Ouch. That's hard. That's really hard. When I see the tower, instead of moving and put the lumber camp here, I wasn't really happy about that. Anyway, he's trying to attack with the valise. He's the only choice. He need to repair. Stop not repairing at all. And now he's gonna try to kill that tower, I believe. No, no, no. Ooh, that was good. That was good. But now, fill his numbers. He didn't lose a single villager. Look at Miguel. He's microing like God. He's microing great. He's doing an amazing job, actually. He didn't lose a single villager. And now he's taking absolutely everything. I mean, Miguel, now he lost one villager. But he's taking also villager from, from Vivi. And now, Miguel, that I thought uh, it was a bad tower, he turned the game on his favor. Doing an amazing job and taking... Well, the tower down and killing that villager. Damn, both with the same villagers. And now, bye bye. He blocked it. Oh my god. He blocked it. He blocked the villager. Is this open? No, no, no. There's a tree. Man, he blocked three villagers. That's delayed, man. That's the. Oh, but he can take some villagers. Need to make another. I mean, he. Wow. No, no, no. He's in the range. He's in the range, and now you can take the tower. That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea for baby. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Like, it's gonna be a tower that is annoying, but he's in the range. He's in the range. It's a bad idea. And now with three villages, he's fine. Miguel should attack. Miguel should go forward with the scouts. Probably at home, he got nothing. You see? Nothing. Literally nothing. If he sent three scouts at home, it can be so damn annoying. That tower most likely will, will fall and go down. He got one spear. Miguel at the end did, did great, but he's still two villages behind. Why? Because the scouts are expensive. And, well, maybe some other time too. And now the tower. So, ay ay ay. No, no, no. He's killed the villain, man. Oh, that was a great micro! Great micro, love it! Love it, man! He split the scout and then he take the village. That was awesome play by Miguel. Fantastic. Now the same village. This is what we love to see. Fantastic job here. Now he's blocking. And the micro is on point here for the Brazilian. Amazing gameplay here by the Brazilian, really. Doing an amazing job going out for the spears and with the scouts. Trying to kill and another village down. Beautiful play by Miguel. Beautiful, no. Amazing play by Miguel. Micro in a game. Love it. Really love it, this one, with the three scouts and the villains did an amazing job. He killed five villains to Vivi. Awesome play by him. He got either TC? Probably yes, because killing five villains, he's still with the same. With the same villains by him, and now three villains more. Are you for real? Oh, come on. I know the three villains. He has no stone, though. And he's a wall the palisade. Wall the palisade, exactly. I mean, wall the trees. A little. What, 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 what? Okay, he needs to see the the villains are. The villains, he knows that the villains are around. He's gonna mine a stone there. Where's the other stone? Why, why the stone here, man? What the hell? Yeah, man, he can see it. RT range. Just mine this stone. And this wood line is in danger. Just go here, man. Put that lumberjack there. And he will. Kemer, he's still doing a great job, really. Taking another villager. Yeah. He's a sniping more villagers. And now Vivi has some small problems here. Okay. Five scouts. He's going to move. There is some idol. Well, this game is... Uh, ooh, Miguel. Ouch. Losing now to a scout for nothing. This is what you have to avoid. But the problem with the scout when you are against spears and towers is that you need to micro like God the whole game. The whole game all the time. Otherwise, the spears are so strong. The, the scouts are without uppers. They are so weak. Yeah. But I insist, it's time to attack. Honestly, attack him. Got nothing at home. Of course he doesn't know, but go with the scout. In mind if he's sending five scouts on Fat Dragon Economy. Now doing double attacks. He didn't have any upgrade. Now doing the tone watch. He's coming with the spears only, but he's sending the archers. There you go. He doesn't have the, the plasma. But he got the archers and I'll send villagers. Yeah, the, the scouts, man, is a waste. He's wasting the scouts? Well, maybe not. Because now the... Ooh. Ooh. Well, he's he can go around. Go around, he's open. He's open. I don't know if he's gonna wall. He's, he's open still. Not anymore. Well, but he will take it. Damn. Damn. Well, BB is so annoying. So, so annoying with his towers. And that's the goal. He has to be careful. And sadly for him, that tower will be up. 
That tower will be up. Four spears. Going with the archers. He's trying to kill with the abilities. Did you see what I told you about the scouts? If you don't micro like crazy. Man. Stable. And now Miguel will see it. Yes, he sees, he sees, he sees, he sees, he sees. And, 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 and. This is, this is so important. This is so, so important. But the spears are coming. One million down. But he's still going to make it. Okay, he's still going to make it. No, 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 no. The scout gonna lose it, man. So difficult game for for Miguel because he's very annoying. It's still 30 bullets, both. Okay, let's zoom out. This is his base, man. Fully open, full aggression. This is Arabia, guys. This is pure Arabia, no fake Arabia, not green Arabia, not flat Arabia. And now those two bullets down, guys. What is incredible here is Miguel has killed nine bullets to Fat Dragon. Miguel has lost only two. And the village numbers is still the same. How do you explain this? Can you explain me that? Because I don't know. And I know the village down. There you go. 10-3. Just wall it. Is he walling? He Ouch! The scout annoying. Yeah, of course this was a lot of idle time. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Yeah. Well, you can see the production on the top right corner. That's a lot of idle time. Still same values. The, the economy, though, Miguel is with Khmer. Now he wall, and now that this table is useless. Man, this is... This is Miguel Games. After the first two games was 2-0, now the Khmer is starting to shine. Look at that economy. Almost 600 uh, foot. Just uh, needs a little bit of gold. Wall that. Well, he didn't, but he has the scout. He's okay. And he's about to go up to Castle Age. Anyways, I mean, if he got title time, uh, he's playing great, man. So he's playing really nice in this one. He's playing really nice in this one. Yeah, look at the resources. Damn. Miguel don't have the Blastmith. He need it. I mean, if he's not going up, he will need to make the upgrades. Yeah. He definitely needed it, but he's up to Castle Age, man. And this is an amazing, amazing situation. Oh my god, another tower. Another tower for him. Are you kidding me, man? He's doing the market. Let me check if Vivi can see the other goal. I think he does. Yes, definitely he does. He need the market. Maybe he need to make a tower. He need to defend the goal. Because without the goal, what you do? Okay, he's now on his base, but... But with the archer and the skirmisher, just kill the spear, take that scout. Yeah, we'll take that scout and, and then he's completely exposed. Oh my god, okay. Now take this one and he can go to the stone miners. He got the army, man. He got the army. He can see it or not. Yes, he's going to the stone miners and we'll take, well, few villages. Let's see. That he has a blastmith? No, still no blastmith. On the right side, he was trying to make a, a tower, but he fight with all the villages. On the right side, he's fighting with another. Now he's going back. But seriously, blastmith man, he's doing a second stable, he's doing more scout. He has zero upgrades, zero upgrades. Guys, no bloodlines, no skill garden armor, no forging, no nothing. Now he's doing a counter tower. He won't have any gold. And now fat dragon with six villages more. Are you kidding me, man? Is, is, is Vivi gonna be able to come back? I mean, he shouldn't, but it's still zero gold. Damn. Well, the tower now is more HP. That's the only advantage here. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, light cap. Now doing the blastmith. Awesome. Really, really awesome. Yeah, and Blue keep trying, right? Yeah, with the scout, with Villiers. He know that he need to kill it. Loki's going. Yeah, man, but he denied the goal again. So. Miguel is in Castleage, but zero gold production? Or, or where his mining go? No, no, zero gold. Just look at the village on gold. Sorry, guys, I scrolled by mistake. Okay, more battle. Of course, the light caps should dominate here. They definitely should dominate. He got two towers. Some spears are needed. The skill bar in armor. But he's in Castleage and he only can make light caps. So, if Vivi just coming with towers and more spears, he's fine, man. He's fine. Damn. This Vivi is crazy. 
He too crazy. He's gonna make another tower? No, what is this? Small palace. No, 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 no. Okay. Now nah, he's gonna lose some bellies. Now he's doing the bloodlines. I don't know why bloodlines in this situation. This crazy player, man. Crazy player. Well, he's sending more spears. He want to go all feudal army? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna take the light cap. Now, now the bloodline is gonna make his his effect. That tower will be up. Uh, more scout. What the hell? Now baby is taking villiers. Okay. The tower is up. He has to be careful. He's trying to deal with the light cap. The tower will go down. It's down. But he's trying all the time. Fat Dragon is still four villiers ahead. Forcing Miguel to have almost no army. He's mining now some gold. He's doing finally the bloodlines. It's the first upgrade for... No, he did uh, the plus one armor. Sorry. Okay. And at home. Market. Well, if he let Fat Dragon to reach Castleage, then be careful, man. Now he's sending finally light caps. Yes. He's fully open. The light caps can make here a massacre. A completely massacre. No! Come on, man. He's going back again. Okay, well, he's still gaining time. Unbelievable. He's still spamming his spears and a scout. He's not going castleage, man. He's just full feudal, man. Full feudal. Let's go to blue. Blue got what? How many stables? Three stables. Barracks? Only one. That surprised me. I would make more. Even more when you are against light caps. Pretty much. Now... Now he's losing all the army. Come on, man. D this should be the game, no? I mean, I don't know, but... No, he keeps trying, man. He lost the village. Just delete that tower. It's not deleting. And BB keep trying, man. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, a barrack. He's doing a barrack with 11 villages. I think he will make it fast. I agree. Okay. That tower is, is, is a stone wall, all the towers, with three villages idle there. Okay, now doing the, the armor, still not wall. Crazy play by, the, by this, by this Chinese player that is just crazy. Well, uh, he wants to make a tower here, and he's going with so many villages. Look at that. I think he will do it. I mean, with so many villages and a Spanish one, he definitely will. But now the light caps will dominate, and we go for the game number four. Are we or not? What? A guy going back. <laughs> A guy going back. Okay. No, no. The tower will be up, but it also will be down. Yeah. Well, the TC is up. You see, guys. It happened the same for uh, to you than me. That he's not attacking. He never attacked Fat Dragon on his base. In the whole game, basically. And still winning the game, of course. But uh, but attack his base, man. We'll kill everything. Anyway, the tower is down. Oh, it will be down, but the Sate. He's killing all the spears. Now take the tower. It's also hitting. Uh, it's in the range from the town center. But Vivi is still in the same population. And Miguel, 20 idols, man. What the hell? Okay, now two villages more. <laughs> oh my god. Man! And another tower! He keep going, man! He keep really going with more spears, with forging, doing another tower. What the hell is Bibi, man? This player, such an annoying player, really. He sees villages behind, doing another tower. He keep trying to attack and getting more towers. I don't think that he can do anything now. I mean, the population difference is increasing in terms of villages to town center. He's, he's not even up. Yeah, but but is Miguel no army at all? Okay. Yeah, so many spears. Fletching. Man. He has been with the towers during 35 minutes. And he's still without the fletching. I didn't even notice because I was... Well, I was sure he was with the fletching. Now killing more villagers. Idols for Miguel. And finally, guys, get hype in the chat. Four light caps on Fat Dragon base. Let's see if he's gonna kill some villager. There you go. One villager down. Mm. 
Well, the woodland is so exposed. I love this woodland, guys. If you are playing, this is a tutorial video for YouTube. Always this kind of performance is great. You know? Relocate this, man. One struggler, man. And now look at the woodland here. Well. Going with the spears. I'm happy that you... That you agree with me? In the chat is awesome. Now he's taking this tower down. But please, now that should be the game. I mean... Okay, 52 bullies idle. For Miguel, still not able to go up. Three bullies on wood. Look at the lumber camp. Beautiful lumber camp he's doing. Instead of doing connected here to all the woodland. Look at the lumber camp. Awesome. Well, he's completely... I mean... Uh, a complete mess game. Really messy game. He's going with more scout. 15 villages behind. Still 17 are idle. I'm telling you something. Well, I don't think so. He would be up to, to, to Castle each ever. But if Vivi is going up to Castle each ever. And look at the rate you killed that. And look at Vivi villages lost. 32 villages lost, man. 32 villages more. And he's sending more villages again. But I want to, to ask you. Do you see what happened with Vivi? He played... Incredibly clean and smooth the first two games. I'll look at this game now, you know? But maybe it's to tilt his opponent. Like, look at the population, to be honest. Look, he's gonna go with the village to kill the tower, right? I mean, what the hell? Skill bar in armor, scouts. I, I don't even know who, what are they doing here. Coming with the spears. It's light guard versus a scout. The tower with 1000 HP versus 700. And it's still Fat Dragon got more army, man. More army, man. Yeah, Miguel, three army, 20 idle villagers. Look at the, the villagers are completely idle all the time. He's doing a counter tower. And unable to, to make some siege. For example, guys, I mean, few scorpions from Khmer just kill everything here. I mean, few scorpions? Uh, they kill everything. It's true that the, the archers who kill a lot too, but, but I don't know what's going on. Why, why not finish the game? And I know the tower. Are you kidding me, man? Well, let me check Vivi's economy. It's a good amount of farms. 20 farmers. He got more farmers than, than, than Miguel. It's still attacking. Yeah, Vivi, Vivi, don't give up. Baby, don't give up, and this is crazy. He's still nine bullets behind, but the population is the same. He's still going like madness for 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 the win. A three zero is what he want, and not to stop him, man. He's not to stop him. And look at him. I mean, it's all idle from from Miguel. Like he and I know the tower, man. I mean, I'm trying to cast relax it. I'm trying to be professional. I'm trying to don't scream. Trying to be like people are saying, man, I, I see you in a good mood. They are getting me angry, angry. I mean, I can't with this. And another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. <laughs> and the village is different. It's getting closer and closer. I mean, I'm angry in quotes, because this is insane. The amount of army from Vivi is now sick. Look at the scout, look at the spears, he's taking a lot of villains. He's now going to be more villains, Fat Dragon. Fat Dragon is just... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> it's madness, man. He, the cab archers don't have any armor. The scouts are going to be able to dominate. He's gonna kill more villains, man. What the hell? He's killing more villains. And look at the villains numbers. Fat Dragon is ahead. He's with more villains than Miguel. And Miguel will, will, will lose the game? I mean, what is going on? Miguel got seven villains of wood. 14 farmers. Zero on gold. Guys, zero villains on gold. Let's take the towers from Bibi. He got seven towers here. How many towers he got on total? I, I, I don't know. I'm missing towers. Well, uh, whatever. So many towers. So many towers. He's still going with the scout. Now, finally, cap arches and light caps. The towers is probably going to go down. He is still ahead in villages. The rate you kill that is 129.73. The villages now should go down. Okay. And where to go, Castle? Is Castle is for weeks? He might be thinking. You are weak, man, for going Castle Age. Score difference is still insane now. And, uh, well, it's still zero villains on goal. I mean, 
He has no access to gold. Now he can mine that gold? Maybe? <laughs> he's doing another tower, guys. I want to cry. Ah, he's doing another tower. And then Miguel is sending 12 villains to take this tower when he got light caps. I, I, are you kidding me, man? Yeah, man. Another tower here. And now with Calvars, is light caps. But I don't know. Now, now it's starting to be, in my opinion, so much. Like, if you are able to go castle at some point, triple a stable, drop a castle. But now, with the score difference that is happening now, he knows that this is impossible. So maybe he wants just to, 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 to anoint his opponent for the next game. I think so. This is his purpose. No, no, no. I mean, he knows that he's dead, and he wants to annoy his his opponent really. Because he knows that this is impossible now to win. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I have the feeling now. And it can work, you know. Because the players, when you have to, to kill like this, is like... Poof, you get a little bit more stress. Yeah. Not great. Now, now this is over. He's gonna take all the villages in that... Uh, under that tower. And uh, 15 villages different. Finally... Oh, now Miguel got beautiful... Oh, no. A guy in Zero Village on goal. He, what? He, he's still playing, man. He really still playing, you know? I mean, still going with the scout versus light caps. Finally, man. He called the GG. Oh, man. Oh, man. He called the GG. What a crazy player. He called the GG. Unbelievable game. He just... Make everyone like, what is this? I mean, if we get tilt, if we get like, what's going on? How is the player, man? The player is gonna get like, uh, Miguel might be like, go, go to the hell, man. Like, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> the towers are bad. I agree. The towers are now bad. Miguel did good. And uh, let's take the achievements because the achievements was insane. Military, look at the unit killed by Miguel. Sick. Economy. Of course, more food for Fat Dragon, more wood, more stone, and more gold. But he never reached Castle Age. Never, ever. And with 64 villages, 56, that was... Well, it was a solid play by Miguel. It's super annoying play against Vivi combination with the Spanish. Game number four, guys. This is going to be a beautiful one. Game number four is... Well... A classic, guys. A classic. Chinese. Chinese versus the hands. Chinese versus the hands. Let me fix the overlay. And I will put Chinese and hands. There you go. Well, we all know this civilization, right? Chinese. Fat Dragon. Hans Miguel. Well, I think if Miguel played properly... In this map, how this map is being done, Hans, I don't say that they are favorite, but I will love them, you know? I will love them in this situation. China is great, they have a great economy. Well, you can see the bonus for both civilizations in both overlays, but Hans in this one should really dominate. I mean, not dominate, but it, it's so nice. Super aggressive map, super aggressive civilization, Miguel that is used to, to, to play with them. Fat Dragon, of course, know how to play with Chinese too, but... Um, I, I like Hans Joyce here, you know. For feudal age, but even more for maybe for castle age, you know. With they, they, they have a castle age that can be so aggressive, with the knights and uh, that can be well 20% faster production. I don't know. Uh, let's see. It's true that Chinese can go camels. It depends everything on uh, on how they play. If they're gonna play standard, they're gonna go crazy gameplay. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Anyway. The map for Vivi. Man, look at the wood. Super far. Yeah, it, it, it's incredibly far. Call on the right side. Another goal here. Look at both the stone. Berries on the right side. Yeah, but it's super open. That's the thing here. Well, Miguel. Miguel has that goal at the back. I will wall uh, till the edge of the map like this. I think he's fine, man. Small palisade. Yeah. You make some quick some walls close to the TC. And you have a lot of area here to farm in. Get the wood, save, some pies. I like this Miguel map. 
While Vivi can't do that. I mean, he need to make a lot more walls and the goal will be exposed. So let's see, let's get closer. Well, but that happens because Miguel is still doesn't have the loom. When Miguel do the loom, it is okay, man. This is normal at this point, you know? The advantage comes when, when Miguel is doing the loom, guys. Okay? When Miguel is doing the loom. It cannot spoil Logan the, the hamster because we got all the series with five games. All the series. No matter what. 3-0, 3-1, 3-2. All the series. Five games. And the same time... Uh, recorded. It's all ready, man. Don't worry. Yeah, all the series is five games, man. Exactly, like Asli Shader. Okay. Okay, be careful here. He's gonna he's gonna bring the rhino. Pretty nice. And four villages on wood. Okay, it's not gonna go. Maybe I I'm really wondering what is he going to do with Chinese. It's always nice. This civilization. Many players love it. And uh, well, Leary, for example, is one of his favorites. Many other has also Chinese as, as a favorite save, but I insist. In this situation, I love the hands. I'm checking out the fog of war. He's going around, trying to see if he's doing a barrack, if he's mining gold. Now he's finding the gold. That's fantastic. And now, blue point of view. I like to put the, the uh, POV from time to time. From both players to see what they do. Medieval Total War music in the background. Hopefully you enjoy. And then over my head, Pinstick and Microsoft. Don't forget to test to check exclamation mark 50k. And uh, well, if you need a product that is sell there, go 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 guys. We want more tournaments, right? Uh, sponsored by Pinstick. Yeah. At least I won't. <laughs> Obviously. And, uh, Feudal Age Miguel, super quick up, 20, 20 population. Okay, going quick, man. Going really quick. Three villages on berries. Now another Lambricam, I love it. You have to be always really careful with those. Because this, uh, the idle button, you never detect it. I mean, you can click it. Look. Well, now now that I was going to click, and you will hear, but... Yeah, it's, it, it is stuck, and that happens sometimes. We'll go scout. I believe Vivi is gonna go scout too. You can see, guys, how the Dark Age. From no, what? what? He's going forward. Oh man, this player, man, he's going forward. But did he find his opponent? Yes. Okay. He's going forward, man. Vivi is going forward with China. Pretty crazy stuff, man. This player is just a sick. Player, man. BB in another level. Going aggressive. You can see three villains ahead. That means a fantastic dark age with only 30 second difference. So he means it means that he's two villains ahead like it should be. And now I'm gonna check red. Because red gonna have a stable up. Yes. But BB is gonna be on his face, man. With the barrack on his face. He's doing the barrack a little bit late, but he has four villages, so should be okay. His resources are fine to make everything. As well, double attacks. I don't know if he's gonna make horse collar, probably not. Because he's gonna make an archie race here. Or or or, or we'll go just a spears. Oh my god, he's trying to and yeah, I am a Miguel point of view. He still doesn't see that as that's an archie range. And Okay. He didn't kill the villager. But half HP. And coming with the scout. I am on blue point of view. I will try to put a little bit zoom out more. Now I think this is a good perspective. Barak and Archie range. And guys, with this forward, BB is playing so smart. Check the mini map. Check the mini map. You think I need to, to check the mini map? It's fantastic, man. If he's walling completely at home, he's in a fantastic position. Because he's going with the spears. He got an archery range. That tower is so annoying. So annoying. But man, the towers are so weak. He's, he needs to delete it, maybe. Well, I don't know. He's a couple of spears. The scout, the skirmishers. Need to micro. He wants to save the spears. If he's not saving the spears, those are scout. Oh my god. Good job here by Miguel again. Good job by Miguel. Well, 
well, well, well, need a spear. And he doesn't have now. He Miguel lost a villier, but now he's killing another. And maybe another one. No, no, no. The spear is gonna happen. He's gonna be there. He's taking the villager. No, he's not micro. He's taking now. He took it. Oh, he take three villages out of four. And the forward from Vivi, it's literally gone. So, amazing, amazing gameplay by Miguel. He took all the villiers. All the villiers. He lost some units too. But look at the rate you killed that. He's now doing a tower to, to hold this forward. I think that he has hold it already, but he's doing an RG range. Good thing with the hands. Well, you don't have to multitask for the towers. And uh-oh, uh that villain is going to be gone. There you go. And now both players pretty much with the same values. No, but Miguel is ahead. That's fantastic. You are ahead from, to the Vikings. Oh, man. Bibi's being stubborn. Bibi's being stubborn. He's going to take another one. Look at the lion. Now he's coming with another Villiers. And one volley more down. Gonna take another one down. Oh my god. The Lion King is not gonna help him. He's gonna take it another. And got it. But the Lion will kill it. No. Good micro, man. Good micro. He saved it and he's 1 HP. Let's zoom out a little. He saved it, man. He definitely saved it. But guys, now Fat Dragon, 26 bullets and 9 army. Miguel, only one army, man. This VV is playing so crazy. Another tower. Is he mining a stone, Miguel? No. And that tower is now so sick. Because he can even destroy the stable with that tower. I like it. Also, when he's doing fletching, he's taking the farmers. That's why he's sending all the villages again. Whoa! Yeah, but he got army now. While Miguel doesn't. Doesn't. Why he's not walling the towers? I don't know. He's not walling. He's not expecting Miguel to come with all the villages. But, man. Full aggressive games, man. Full aggressive games by Vivi here. Damn. So dangerous to play against Vivi. But Miguel is doing well, in my opinion. I don't know what you think, guys. I want to see the feedback. He's doing well or not? He definitely doing, man. I think he definitely doing. He lost another villager. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's great. It is really great. Okay, Blasmith. Spears, skirmishers. Yeah, this game, I mean, playing against this aggression, guys, is so complicated. It's, it's definitely so, so complicated. He's reacting well. He secured this area. He's also safe on the left. He's now mining the goal at the back, securing the, the right side at the bottom. And this tower is not that dangerous. I mean, of course, it's annoying, but it's not the same that, that doing that close, you know? And now he has army. And sending villages as well. Fletching for both. Fletching for both. But this is good amount of farming. A lot of spears though. The spears are not that great. Well, if they go in the face to face, they, they are annoying. But he's taken. And he's micro like crazy. Yeah, but but the, he got also heal advantage. This is this is a toth situation here by by Miguel, by the Brazilian. He's trying to do the job, but this is a lot of farming. It's true that this is skirmishers, but a lot of farming still. Miguel now no army at all, but with the village he's doing the job. Oh my god, that scout, great. Need to take this tower. Yeah, so annoying. So, so annoying, but man, he, he's, he's doing an amazing job. He's, he's forcing him to bring more villages. Are you for real? Okay, the scout, and now the tower is going to be down. The skimmer is, is focused completely in the in the spear, doing a great micro. Now he lost another villain, but he's taking the skirms. He need to kill the spear, need to move the scout. Don't lose the scout, man. Don't lose the scout. It's key, man. Keeping the scouts alive is key. Now he needs to take a couple of villains. If not, he's in problems. Because now Fat Dragon recover and has three villains more. Well. Another villain down. There you go. Yeah, it, it is going, man. It is doing, sorry. Yeah, more skirmishes and arches now. But, but he's chasing with too many villains. That's too many either villains. Because Fat Dragon got three here, but how many for Miguel? Ouch. That's eight villains idle, which is not the way to go. Of course, he secured the area, but in economy, should be better now for, for him. He's going to take the ostrich. What wood line? One on stone and the Vivi zero on coal still. Okay. 
So it's going for full fuel. But I insist. Um, if the game goes longer with this kind of battle, I prefer the hands here because in these feudal battles, at the end, they, they, they usually dominate. He has this table going with the scout, more skirmishes. Both are just not thinking on castleage. And with that army, if he's dealing... If he stops the spears, he's gonna take everything. I mean, he need to take the spears. Those, those scouts are so high value here. It's four villains, okay. Now the archers. But the problem is that he got a lot of skirmishes too, I know. Yeah, trying to go for the spears, trying to split up his army. Ouch, ouch. You know what? I will even delete the blast with if it's needed. I don't know. Maybe it's too risky. Now no spear, so the scout will... Oh, you see? You see? Professional man. He delete the blast with... Man, man, Stradamus, I want to see in the chat. Come on. He delete the blast with and now going all in. The scout skirmish is taking the tower. Huh? Ah, uh, well, it's what it is, man. Professional caster. Man, yesterday I did all wrong, but today on point. <laughs> well, it was good timing. I mean, the blam was, was annoying there, so delete it. And look at the army, man. Look at the army from Miguel going all in. Will Baron now with the skirmish is crazy game already. Love it. And now gonna take all the villains and the villains down. He's gonna be the same. What a crazy series. Man. Taking everything I told you, the hands in this situation, just dominate, man. Just dominate, look at the army now, look at the score Miguel is getting into the decided game. Well, he's cleaning the forward, now he has no blasphemy, you know, but, <laughs> but I think he doesn't care at all. What have he got? Well, not even bloodlines, no nothing, only fletching. For now, he can't keep going. Try to attack, and if he's taking the stone miners, oh boy. Resources for Miguel in another level. Yes, look at his economy. He's shining more and more, and he will be able to go castle is faster. And that's a fantastic gameplay by the Brazilian. Wow, great city so far. And now, ooh, the timing, man, the timing, the momentum. With those five scouts, he's gonna take those billions. Damn. Yeah. Two, two. Two, two. Decided game. GG call. Well, beautiful one. He call it, and we are going for the decider game. Okay? Man, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. I have loved this one. I think Miguel in this one just dominate. Look at the score. He feel, I mean, he wasn't even mining gold. And if you are thinking it's too early, no, no, no. Look at the resources. He was about to go up to Castle H. He got two villages more. And Fat Dragon, zero army. Guys, we're going for the, the last game. L let's take first the achievements. But this has been great to watch. First season of the day and five games. <laughs> go Castle need it. <laughs> Economy, look at Fat Dragon, Fat Dragon with more food, more wood, more stone, zero gold, and military, look at the unit kills, please, unit kills 56, 56, 24, the ratio kill that, insane, and he was, look at, at the end of the game, man, that was total domination. Okay, decided game incoming. Miguel versus Fat Dragon. Franks versus Kumans. Franks versus Kumans. Oh my god, this matchup. Let's go, guys. Franks versus Kumans. It's just gonna be. Ay, ay, ay. Let me check and check the overlays. Let me check the overlays. We got Fat Dragon with Kumans. And then Franks. Honestly. This is favorite. Uh, I think it's it's definitely favorite. Uh, Franks here. I, I mean, at least I prefer. The, but it depends because with this uh, crazy VB, depend how he's going to play. Remember that KOTD two he was semi finalist and now he's in the decided game against a player like Miguel. So the first series are just starting uh, incredible, right? Incredible. Yeah. Okay, and um, we all know Kumas, right? You can make extra TC, you can go even Rams. The, the cavalry is a little bit faster. They don't have husband, but they are faster uh, default as, as soon as they get Feudal Age. So 
Uh, let's see, man. Uh, this is super hot. Let's see. With these lights, I, I, I'm still fine, I believe. Yes. And, um, well, Franks, bonus, bonus with the berries, and 25% faster. Uh, farm bonus for free. The scouts more HP. I mean, I love Franks. And the thing is, Miguel love to play with these cavalry saves. He got the berries on the right side, not the best spot. He can wall if he really wants to go for the huge walls, but I think it's better that he's going uh, focus and uh, full aggressive, in my opinion. And then the map for for Vivi, goal in front, another goal here. If he's going at TC, for example, take the wood and the goal, or here even. I don't know if he's going to go for a... Yeah, I mean, Fat Dragon is going for the TC. He's going to go for the TC approach. So... He's playing with Kuman and he's gonna go for a second TC. Then, what do you think Miguel should do? Scouts or fast castle directly? What do you think, guys? Yeah, but I I, I mean two villas on, on wood, sorry. It's another TC. You know? It's definitely another tone center. An extra TC. So okay. Yeah, I'm just checking and he's just... Uh, no, no, he's, he's gonna go for the second TC. I'm just checking the possibilities he can to, to build it. Because he wants to make a TC in the wood, but also in the uh, on the goal, in my opinion, would be great to have one here, for example. Well, I think there's no space, but in this area he can. Also in this one, it would be fantastic. I don't know if he has explored properly. He can see the goal. Yeah, he can see everything. Okay. While Red has three villages on wood, he's going to scout, he's going to standard. But maybe Miguel is going to go use few scouts and, and try to, to go castle as soon as possible? It's, it's a possibility, but... But players now adapt really well with Kumans, and they go for... For feudal age super... For castle age, sorry, super quick. Okay, he's doing the loom, and he's going up. Fat Dragon is going to go up 19 population. 19 population, 3 villages on berries. This is so interesting. And it's very nice, guys, that in this series... Okay, he's gonna wall. That they decided he's gonna be with, with one of the new civilizations, with Kumans. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, both are going up the same, the same population. And both are gonna try to play their, 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 their biggest strength. He's gonna go scout Miguel with Franks. While Kumans is gonna go for the second TC. But where? Where he would make the TC? Probably here, right? On the wood lane? Or, or in the bear? Oh, here to, to avoid the radiant, maybe. Yeah, he's well in this area. So he's gonna make the TC here, I believe. I'm just guessing now. Because he's well in all this area. Now he's not gonna make in the goal. You know? I'm zoom out, guys, just to see exactly what he's gonna do, okay? Exactly what he's gonna do. Thanks for the passion and dedication. Every two benefits so much from you. Thank you, man. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm not reading some message. I'm focused completely in the game. Sometimes I can't catch up some message with the support. So I apologize, okay? TC here, right? Perfect, okay? I am on point today. Um, a little bit more on point, but it makes sense. He's wall on the right, walling also between those two forests, walling here on the left, so it makes sense that he's walling this area. Also, might be more difficult now to raid because eh, he's kind of on the range if he's going through. Oh, wall it, man. I know, but he's more HP, remember? Just wall there. He's gonna make it. And he's walling completely. Okay, I mean, I mean, two tone sentence boon, if you are walling, it's solid. But I'm wondering how many scouts Miguel is going to do. Because uh, Miguel can't delay his castle it's so much. Or the Kuman's boom will shine and destroy. 
I don't know if you agree, guys. He need to go castle is quite fast, or going forward with maybe some tower, maybe some some aggression going in and 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 attack, because if not, is is a problem. It is a real problem. We will see. Anyway, France economy is so good. I don't think he will make more scouts then. Yeah. Scout is bad versus Kumans. I agree. Even more if he, if, he, if he's wall, right? Has to be careful here. Bibi's third, third goal. One in front, second on the left, and this is the third. No, and here, here it is. One, two, and three in this area. Super exposed. The, the problem for him is the goal, actually. He has no goal at all. Well, he's not mining even. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you cannot see too much here in the minimap. But there it is. Okay, well, more HP for Kuman's Palisades. Now there's not too much going. Just that uh, the economy for Miguel, it's, it's getting there. It's mining gold. He only made two scouts, not too much. We'll go Castle Age. But Fat Dragon is starting to have more and more villages. Four villages more. Double task or Scholar. Now let's see, because. Where he's gonna mine the gold? Maybe here? This area? Well, does it really matter? I mean, I think here is okay. He's close to the TC. Well, for now, it's gonna be a passive game. We can just think what is gonna happen. Still a while, but the goal is on, on, this, on this one. Perfect. And then what? I mean, I think Fat Dragon should go for keep check. Like, you build a castle, and a castle here protect both town center. Of course, you, you need to protect the goal, because the goal is, is exposed. It is really exposed. What Miguel is doing now, it's also... Ouch. Okay. What Miguel is, is doing now is exploring more and more the map. Also, uh, possible sneak. You have to be careful. The economy is looking good now for Miguel. He's about to go up. But he's doing the market already. Four villages on goal. And the castle age is, is going to be there. Man, that castle age transition for Miguel is solid. But one villager is going to be down. That castle age with two scouts he did. <laughs> 1755. It is good, man. It is good. But Fat Dragon got, uh, got already 16 villains more. And right now, he's getting closer and closer to go up. Closer and closer to go up. And just look what he did, Fat Dragon. He sell this stone to get an incredible fast castle time. A really, really good fast castle time. Look at that economy, man. Man, this time up. With Kuman's 18 minutes 53, not bad at all. Really, not bad at all. I think he's dead pretty much. Who is dead pretty much? Because the problem for Fat Dragon, he doesn't have a single military building. So, if now he's coming aggressive, siege, okay, barrack. But he need the army, man. I mean, that minute, hmm. Yeah, he's 20 villains behind, but uh, let's see if he's going to be able to make some damage fast. He definitely needs to do it instantly. He's going for the goal. That's good. If he denies the goal, it can do something. Double stable. Of course, he needs to break. Barak is doing now. They will borrow. And now it's stable, I believe. Stable. Siege wars up. Damn. Where is Blue? Uh, Blue lost the scout? Yeah, Fat Dragon has no army. That would be ideal now to explore. The knights are coming. He still doesn't have the stone for, for a castle. But, uh, damn. He's gonna palisade. He need another TC on the go. Probably here. I will do that. 
He's going Knights of Mangonel. The Knights are coming. He got only one stable. The resources are obviously good. He's doing Step Lancers. He's doing Step Lancers. Okay. The Knights are going to the left. He's doing also a Monastery. PB is playing safe completely. Completely safe. He's about to have the castle. Man, 20 villains more. I know that the score is pretty much the same. But he need to make damage. One villain down. And now no gold. That's the biggest problem here. And another villain down. Okay. Not 20 villains difference anymore. And military. No number for Fat Dragon. But that Mangonel. It's going to go down. That's why he took the Lancers. He's going to kill so quick that Mangonel. There you go. Got it, and that's that's really huge. Oh my god, this is even bigger. Look at the castle he's doing. That castle is fantastic with 20 villains more. He's gonna make the mining camp. He's trying to wall to a boo to avoid the doubt castle. Great, great execution here by Vivi. Great execution here by Vivi doing the castle and just uh, protecting the main goal. He need to make a house here. It might be not the most exciting game because the Kumans, when, when it's using this approach and the other player is not attacking, is a little bit passive game. But it's really good play, man. It is really, really good play, in my opinion. I don't know what you think. 21 villains more. Now he can go keep Chef if he wanted. He can do whatever because he, the economy advantage he has is insane. Miguel got two tone sent. He's going with the, with the Lancers trying to raid. Oh, he can't. They are fast, those Lancers. Okay, he's gonna send the knight. Need to send it. But, oh, Vili is down. Okay, he has to be careful. He has to be careful, uh, baby. He's going back with that Vili here. And... Yeah, the, the good thing is that... That Miguel got... Well, good army. And... Uh, Bibi is still without army. Does he have the seeds? But he's sending now more. More what? More keep tag. Trying to raid. Got two tones sent. The economy is exposed a little. Does he have a greatest economy? As you can see, 20 villains more. But in this spot, the Mangolis is hitting the TC. It's forcing him to have 10 idols. So it's not that big difference with the Echo because of that idle time. But he's almost about to have another castle. And I wouldn't be surprised that he's going forward and make a castle here. <laughs> big in BB? I mean, in my man. Another castle, maybe. Yeah. Sending all the villains and make a castle here. Can, 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 I, I can't smell that. I don't know. Maybe he's playing safe and make a castle here to defend. Or delete two farmers and then then he can't get attacked. I mean, this would be a, a crazy a crazy uh, castle. But knowing Bibi, anything can happen. Yeah. Okay. He got the stone. No, no, no. He's going safe. I like it. I like it. This is a really good castle by Bibi. Yes, exactly. I was telling you, in this area, or maybe here with the crazy. Now, he's doing here. Now he's completely defended. Botkin arrow, 71 villains, 48. He's gonna send the lances on the knight, and then he can raid. But here we are with a huge advantage with the economy. The scores say that the, the game is pretty close, but I don't think it is. Because with two castles, he's defending properly. He has to be careful. Yeah. Now he's Botkin, and now the Mangonel, ooh, okay, he has Wood Protected, save it at the back, doing the Bloodlines, the goal is safe, now he's raiding here with Kipchat, with Lancers, doing another TC, and uh, looking Toth now. And if he catch up those villains, if he catch up those villains in the north, lucky him, Miguel, that he didn't see it, yeah, because that TC, poof. Yeah, well, sometimes it's the lag factor. He didn't explore properly. No, no, he knows that the wood is there. Oh, he can now, but it's late. It's late, man. Okay, he got the army. I mean, Mi Miguel knows that... Ooh, that's sweet. Miguel knows that, that his economy is behind, even more when you have a lot of idols as well. Why? Why he has those? Garrison, man, and Garrison, damn. No, no, no. Another one down. Well, you can see the rate you kill that. Miguel is killing more. He's doing some good aggression. But the boom is just... Well, too big difference with the Kumans. Like, from from, uh, from the Feudal Age one, so... 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's not converting. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, one mangona down. And. And. He's taking it. No. Okay. Didn't take it. There's some good army. He's gonna convert. And the knight will take it as well. Yes, he's so difficult. And also micron against the monks. He does have ballistic, right? Yes, no ballistic, but. He recovered quite a lot. Village different is. Eh, stabilized. A little bit closer now for Miguel. But uh, it's like a snowball. Kuma's economy getting there better and better. And, and then doing more armies. He's gonna raid. He has no ballistic, no thumbry. Missing some upgrades, but but now. Yeah, this is so annoying, this raiding with the keep chat. So, so annoying. It's so annoying. I might be really frustrating to play against this Sieve and. Well, what the strategy Miguel should have done? Directly castle it? Because to be honest, he did a 17 minute castle. Well, almost 18. GG, good luck next, man. GG, good luck next. He can't, he couldn't do anything. I think the series, yeah, a castle drop, for example. The series has been really, really great. Unfortunate, unfortunate uh, last game for Miguel. But this uh, Fat Dragon crazy player. Really, really crazy player did the job, man. Really did the job. And we got already the 3 2 for Fat Dragon. Man, Moonfaller! How'd you do it, Moonfaller? How'd you do it, Moonfaller? Well, 3 2 here. Military, 21 Aries Army, 20 units killed, 15. Unit loss, 16, 20. Economy, look at that economy. And uh, yes, on point, man. On point. Okay, 3-2, Fat Dragon versus Miguel.